Scott Kilberg, the Video Foot Doc, here with another video for you on all things foot and ankle. Today I'm going to talk about a ganglion cyst. Now, have you ever noticed a lump on your foot or your toe, on either on the top or the bottom or around the ankle, that seems to kind of grow and maybe it shrinks some days and feels kind of uh, squishy and that you can kind of compress it down, but uh, oftentimes can be quite painful, especially when it's uh, pressed against uh, shoes? Well, you may have had a ganglion cyst and may still have it. A ganglion cyst is essentially a almost like a balloon of fluid that is uh, projected out either from tissue surrounding uh, a tendon or from tissue surrounding a joint. Essentially what is happening is that through some process, either a minor injury or just uh, some other irritation to the tissue, uh, the tissue that sort of covers the uh, tendons that allow them to kind of glide and move freely, or the tissue that kind of covers and is found within a joint surface, which allows the joint to kind of glide and move freely, becomes sort of outpocketed away from uh, either the tendon or the joint itself. Now this tissue has the capability of being able to make a sort of thick, uh, jelly-like, viscous fluid um, which is uh, sort of a, essentially the lubricating fluid for the, either the tendon or for the joint itself. And as this tissue sort of outpockets away from the tendon or the joint and pushes up towards the skin surface, it will eventually start to create this fluid and it will fill with uh, sort of this, this jelly-like fluid. And the process can wax and wane. Some days the, the filling can be greater than others. Um, and what will essentially happen is you'll end up with a lump in the skin and this lump, uh, which is still compressible because the, uh, the fluid itself uh, you can compress and squish down, uh, can still be quite painful because it can either A, be irritating against the shoe, or B, the actual pressure of the cyst itself can push against uh, uh, sensitive nerve tissue adjacent to it. Treatment for this condition uh, is successful in some ways and unsuccessful in others. The problem with cysts are that they have a high chance of reoccurring even after you drain them, and they still have a fairly high chance of reoccurring after you remove them surgically. Um, the cysts can certainly be drained of the fluid. However, that doesn't usually solve the problem if you're just simply draining it, because what will happen is, is that eventually the, the wall of the cyst itself will seal itself off and it will simply create more fluid again. What typically is done is after the cyst is drained, it's usually injected with a uh, cortisone-like steroid medication which can help to scar and sort of eradicate the, the actual uh, production of the, of the cyst fluid itself and can help to eliminate the cyst. Um, sometimes this works and sometimes it doesn't and the cyst does return uh, in some form or another. Uh, surgery definitely gets rid of the cyst, but when, uh, when the cyst is removed surgically, it must be very carefully removed and there shouldn't be any of the tissue that formed the cyst left inside the body because otherwise that tissue can simply form uh, another cyst again at some other point. Um, so usually surgery is successful, but there is a decent chance of the cyst sometimes returning uh, in some cases following surgery itself. Now the old uh, sort of adage of taking a heavy book and slamming it down on the cyst to, to burst it, it isn't such a good idea because A, it's going to create a lot of trauma to the tissue and it's going to create a lot of inflammation and it's not necessarily going to solve the problem of the cyst itself. So if you do develop a, a cyst uh, that you notice on, on your foot somewhere um, and it is causing pain, then it's definitely a good idea to have that treated uh, because these things can worsen, they can enlarge, and can be persistent for, for many, many years. Now, they are generally benign, but any mass or lump that you notice on your foot, uh, you have to assume that it's not necessarily benign and it does need to be looked at. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please look for more video on all things foot and ankle on this site as well as others, or you may check out my website at www.inpodiatrygroup.com. Thank you.